We're in Word 2019, Jasper Active, Lesson 4, and we're going to be doing um, inserting page breaks. So click on Learn or Practice, whatever, to get yourself into that activity. So this is three steps. It shouldn't take too long to do. It's a pretty quick one, but we're going to practice entering in um, different kinds of page breaks. So with the sales figure document open, move the cursor to above the chart image. So if we scroll through here, we're going to see there's our chart. There's some data for us. Um, I want to put my cursor right here in between where it says haunted sites and where this image is. And we're going to use um, the keyboard shortcut to insert a page break. So I'm going to press and hold control and tap the enter key. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so now you can see that I have this on two pages. All right, so by entering a page break, anything after my cursor is going to start on a new page. Uh, I don't want to keep that, so I'm going to use my backspace key to remove it. So I'm going to hit the backspace key two times, and that's going to remove that page break and bring my chart back up onto that first page. So I'm going to mark as answered and go to step two. So this time we're going to click at the beginning of the popular tours text. So I'm going to put my cursor right here at the beginning of popular tours. And we're going to go up to the layout tab. And we're going to use the breaks function uh, to insert a next page break. So those are going to be in the page setup group, the breaks functions right here, and there's a drop down for it. When you click on drop down, you're going to see we have a bunch of different kinds of page breaks or different kinds of breaks in general. Um, so there's column breaks, there's page breaks, there's text wrapping breaks, and then there's some down here that are uh, next page and continuous, etc. So we're going to look at the next page break right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And what that's going to do, it's going to move my anything after that cursor down to the next page. And I want to go to the Home tab, and I want to activate my Show Hide Formatting Marks. That's this little guy right here. When I click on it, you're going to see some familiar symbols since we've done these before. Um, so this symbol indicates that we've hit the Enter key. The little dot in between words indicates we hit the space bar. And now what we're going to see here is that now we have a section break or a next page break, right? So it's going to show up on our formatting. And then down below, we're going to see anywhere that the tab key was hit, that that little arrow will appear, right? So we've got that section break there. We're going to mark, uh, oh, we're going to scroll. So first of all, scroll down. Just want to make sure you're checking that document out. And then mark is answered. Now, because we have this section break in here, we can actually change the formatting on one page and not the other, which is what we're going to do next. So I'm going to scroll down to page two, and I'm going to make sure my cursor is right here at the beginning of popular tours. There we go. And I'm going to go to my layout tab, to the page setup group, and to the orientation icon. And I'm going to change the orientation to landscape. Now I'm going to zoom out of my document. What you're going to see is that page one stayed in portrait landscape. Page two is now, I'm sorry, in portrait orientation. And page two is in landscape orientation. So because of that section break, we're able to do that. If we didn't have that break in there, they would both have changed. That's all we need to do for this activity, so mark as answered and go ahead and submit.